Now let's look at creating some charts. As with pretty much every part of creating any application, we need to start with the data. First, let's create a model for our chart output. Because we're showing summary data, this is a little different from the main bug model. We may also need different models for different chart types. For each field that we add to the model, we've got a potential data series that we can plot on the chart. We will also need to think about which fields will represent a solid x-axis to plot the others against. Ext allows us to just filter out a few of these series, or show them all with the same or a variety of types. When we're developing the charts, visual presentation is important, and you will find that you need to iterate a lot to improve and see the result of our code. While we're creating charts like this, I find it useful to just knock up a quick page outside of a main application, which lets us bypass all the login and navigation code, and quickly reload our code. Obviously this will be thrown away before we release our application properly. We can just add a simple viewport to the page and the bare minimum of our application with a different app.js. Now we've got a lightweight playground we can use to get our charts looking right and we've got some basic data in place, we're ready to draw some charts in the next video. Now that we've got somewhere to work, we're ready to start charting. First let's create a view for our first chart. We're going to produce a bar chart to show the number of bugs by category. For this we need a slightly different shape of data, and so a new model and store. Since this sort of reporting generally has less reusable models, it's not unreasonable to put them in line with the charts themselves. First we'll add the category axis. And now we add an axis, this is the y axis, for the number of bugs. We should also add a good title on the chart and on each axis. This we do in the axis configuration section of the view. In the case of this chart we only have one data series, but if we add another it would be useful to show a legend next to the chart. This shows us the basic chart, but we might want to be able to investigate and see the precise numbers. Let's add some highlighting to let the user hover over bars and a tip to show the precise value of the bar when they hover over it. Here we have a good complete chart with all the relevant info in it. Next up we will want to make it look good, fit into our application and see what else we can do with the charts. With most ext objects we use CSS based ext themes to control their appearance. However, charts have their own mechanism for controlling colors and placement, which is rendered directly into the SVG. These are also called themes, but are defined in JavaScript. Let's look at a few of the built-in themes. Here we've changed the theme of our bar chart to green. We can also create our own theme by extending x.chart.theme.base. Here we change the colors for each series and properties like stroke width, whether to smooth the lines, color patterns, and markers on the line. To use this we just change the name and make sure we have included the new theme in the requires statement for the view that the chart is in. Many of these settings can also be overridden and changed for individual charts where we want to make subtle tweaks or make a particular point.